So the theme now is uh, come together. Yeah. Uh, will this theme inspire the postcards before every act in the show? Will, will it be a theme that can that will be visible? Uh, not necessarily. No. Uh, I mean, the symbol will symbolize the come together, uh, and you will see that uh, in the show. It will be very obvious, uh, and all these uh, these flyers that they are called, they represent um, a person or a song or a composer or an artist or a fan, and it symbolizes that we actually go from somewhere to here and become a new memory. In to me, this is my interpretation yeah. of the symbol. To me, it's the collective memory, the inside of it. Is and all these flyers are drawn in. First, they did, they attach, and then they're sucked in and become the collective memory of all Eurovisions. So, uh, and that you will see. You will see how they travel to to join the party. Uh, I think that's it's more in the how you connect and you go between the presentations and the artists and the acts rather than actually in them. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. When Sweden won Eurovision, uh, SVT said that it will have the same size as Malmo uh, regarding the cost and size about the stage. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wonder, were, were Vienna and Copenhagen too big regarding the cost and like the stage? You know, it's, it's act, it, this is up to each and every host, host broadcaster really how much they would like to spend on their production. Uh, we, uh, this is the budget we have. And it's on the same level as Malmö, which is on the same level as Helsinki in 2007. And what we do is we, we just use our money as cleverly as we can to create a, a fantastic and unforgettable show. Um, so it's, it, we, can, we can only sort of relate to our own world. Yeah. And I think that we can use, uh, hopefully, the experience of uh, a tradition from our selection shows where we are used to doing uh, big shows and sometimes with not too much money. Yeah. So um, let's hope we just uh, can use that and yeah. rely on that yeah. and to make this unforgettable. But since this year uh, Melody Festival well celebrates 15 years yeah. and you're also hosting your vision, yeah. uh, has this affected any of the shows regarding no. its two big mass productions? No. no. Not at all. Uh, they are two totally uh, separated um, budgets and uh, entities and I mean uh, Melody Festival in, is running year by year so that that already has its platform so they're not connected at all in oh, that that's, sense. That's good. And uh, of the songs in this year's Melody Festival then, do you think we can take it home again, the contest? Maybe. This year? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, and a lot of fans wonder about Linda Woodruff. Will she do a comeback this year in Eurovision? We don't know. We don't know. We will wait and see. Wait and see. Um, uh, what about any? Is, will there be any different or major changes this year in the Eurovision Song Contest uh, regarding the production of the show? Uh, I mean, you always tweak and you always try to develop and, and make things better. And there might be a few uh, changes, uh, but the, I cannot talk about them right now. You cannot talk about that? Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome.